let's talk about the demo of generative ai in salesforce show some action please just a second all right are you, are you excited uh, please let us know in the comments if you are uh, do we, can we have a look in the comments please and by the way all of the people who are writing the questions comments using chat gpt or some gpts or some ais please don't do it right i mean <laughs> we are already uh, training you on to it i mean helping helping you understand it don't show us the demo of it no <laughs> can, can we have it on the board yeah, i mean can we any show some uh, did we got some messages are they are they all alive very excited i guess i got one you on youtube Yes, you are. All right. All right. Let's go. Go ahead. Let's start with the demo. Yeah. Let's start with the demo. So I have created four small demos for us. Uh, since, as per our, as compared to our last uh, kind of webinars, I have I don't have a business which I can directly show because generative AI is new and the things are being released. So the ones that we have. So the first one being sales GPT. So. we have a contact and that contact is this is absolutely sales gpt this is absolutely sales gpt nothing else in that so we have brad owens and we want to write a email for him for uh, for him yeah so i just need to open this up and then i can simply click on this button draft with einstein gpt and i can i have these many options introduce yourself send a meeting request nudge for follow up check in reconnect and i just need to click on to it and it will create a content based on the data that we have in contact account and the person that uh, the home from home hi brad order. i hope this email finds you well as a regional sales manager in the financial services industry i understand the challenges and the opportunities that come with the role at syntexa as we provide uh, we specialize in helping companies like aims or uh, social inc achieve their goals through innovative technology solutions all right makes sense so it can actually create these kind of content for us and then we can uh, automatically kind of you know add the ah, content is which is not even missing showing customized for yeah. you ah. so we can add our customizations over here and then we can simply send it so this is how we can do uh, so now we do not have to train our sales representatives on to writing good emails right? yeah we can simply use that nudge for follow up so it will again create a email for it like hi i wanted to kind of you know bring into notice and and the good part of it is it's just sending you the information whatever it is creating it's just sending you the content whatever it is creating it is allowing you to edit it and then just send it yeah and that's exactly what we want that we do exactly not want anything want. anything to be sent on their own right yeah that is exactly what we want makes sense makes sense okay uh, so now i will move on to our next demo so this particular demo is for one of our customer with whom we have been working for uh, june 2022 right. long before chat gpt was a thing uh, we kind of pitched to them like we can help you do better customer service executive work for is this the decor one no this is not the decor no, one right, right. this is for under one so like i cannot take the name you know all the things so yeah, yeah. so we have been working for them and we implemented a generative ai based solution way back in august 2022 mm-hmm. uh, before the chat gpt now they have came back to us and they want a new kind of capability for their agents they want their agents not to invest their time in identifying if a person comes in and ask what are the charges which will which can be you know exposed on the credit card what are the documents needed for opening a credit card will i get a magnetic strip in my credit card these kind of questions the sales rep might not be knowing about it the ai has been trained and has the knowledge of all the faqs all the i would say knowledge articles and it is utilizing that to create responses for us mm-hmm. and that too we do not need to write the complete you know well framed message it's generative ai so for example like i will simply ask uh since so of searching the knowledge art- knowledge articles and figuring it out on your own mm-hmm. this ai can help them do it very easily yeah. and uh, of course it is going to use the knowledge articles mm-hmm. but uh, okay let's see it can simply get us those kind of response for us and it will also give us the links to the knowledge articles and through which it has sourced all of this information yeah so just to you know make sure like we are not giving you some random data if the sales rep feels the service rep feels like the data that you have provided i am not trusting that it is does not look you know real to me so it can actually help us doing that so it has given us the response like when making a purchase present to credit card and then this is referring to a question 144 so if i talk about you know 
do credit card get we can simply do all of that and it will give us response for those and if you ask some random questions it will simply say i do not have response i do not have the right data to give us response back for example who will win elon between elon and <laughs> yeah mark and it will simply say i do not have the data for it so i cannot tell you that see uh, therefore uh -huh. i cannot answer you that so we have trained this ai for them and it is kind of you know helping us do all of this thing effectively and saving the time got it now yeah uh, just just to make a point to all of the people currently watching and uh, later going to watch see this is not service gpt yeah. if you think this is service gpt and we are showing you the demo of service gpt no it is not right now available it's just in a beta a version of it beta right yeah it is ga it's just it is just rolled out for some customers some of the customers who were in it. the pilot who who are in the pilot of it right so uh, so it's not service gpt but way before service gpt this was a, this was something this was some uh, custom functionality that we developed for one of our clients using the capabilities of uh, open ai only yeah open yeah, ai only that's that's pretty, that's what it is the other two are also kind of derived from that itself only okay like can should we go back no yeah yeah, I'm, yeah. so yeah uh, this one is for uh, another scenario hmm. this we implemented for one of our business uh, one they of our business not one of our one but of our one of the customer that came to us like it feels like it's our business yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. that's why right. yes as a good sales person no? yeah i am so yeah so they came back to us and they said like you know uh, what happens is our sales life cycle is way way very very long like it's sometimes goes up to 9 month 10 months and sometimes we get a call from that particular individual and we want quick summary of what we had discussed during this 10 month duration what were the points that he liked what were the point he, he didn't like so we want a quick summary of that and they are not able to do that but with this we are doing this we are actually capture we have asked them to capture the meeting notes add them to the lead record or the opportunity which is kind of required and which they should be doing and they are doing that and now we are utilizing that to create a discussion pointer list for them and also providing them what were the kind of topics or what were kind of those uh, you know small talk discussion points that we had discussed which they can use like if somebody was a fan of new york jets we can simply utilize that once we you know like hey did you watch new york jets game last night so that can actually help that create maintain connection and how did you do that uh, again we utilized kind of chat gpt itself only we are kind of summarizing so like joseph vijay is a project manager we are getting complete information like eight pointers itself only which he can simply quickly go through and then he also get personal interest like the interest that he had kind of tracked over time like he is interested into books he is interested into gay uh, into sports and he likes to kind of you know be uh, aware about the new technology and trends so we are getting all of that so you know it can actually help us do the right business and do the right sales with them Makes so sense. this is a solution that we did for them we implemented it uh, way back in february and they have been using it for past 6 months and they are really liking it a lot now they plan to kind of leverage other gpts as and well and by the way who named it as agnes ai it was me all right <laughs> Right. do we uh, do we have some more scenarios that you yeah, like to yeah i show? have one more scenario uh, mm, so. such a show off <laughs> <laughs> all right so this is last scenario this is uh, the implementation we did for the decor the demo that the customer. the decor let's talk about the decor first and then let's show this one sure so the decor is uh, i mean a business which does e-commerce in united states and uh, sells uh, fashionable not fashionable but yeah home decor products uh, and they wanted to like revolutionize their business using the powers of ai and the challenges that they were facing was customer response inefficiency communication which was very very much overloaded lack of product recommendations hindering growth and sales cycle bottleneck and uh, vishujit is going to show us how actually how we actually solved it yeah so uh, just to highlight couple of things so like uh, if you can go to the next uh, next slide itself only 
the solution one the solution one i wanted to discuss certain points so the solutions that we have built for them are custom made solutions like custom made tailored for their business they are not utilizing any of the gpts as of now but the customer wants to use them because he said like they are bringing some more functionality they are very very good in uh, custom solutions right yeah but the saving a lot of money for the clients <laughs> but some of the functionalities are not even uh, live from their end but some of the capabilities that we will be implementing for them are uh, like service gpt which would actually help them write the real replies for them then we would be doing slack gpt as well they have one whenever a kind of secured or whenever a customer concern is raised or whenever person is facing some kind of issues they create a thread and in that thre they create a channel in that channel they kind of you know discuss everything and each thing and there are lots and lots of messages so we are implementing huddle summaries and slack summaries for them so that their managers can come in and see what has been going on into the slack channel itself only so like they are utilizing slack swarming mm. as soon as a case is created a slack channel has been created and then right people are added into it so they are utilizing that so we are going to provide that capability which would help them do the right business and get quicker insights into it then we would be adding commerce gpt especially the commerce concierge and the recommendations we will be doing that and the streamlined sales assistant we are going to implement sales gpt for generating uh, the emails only two of the capabilities are live so we are going to move ahead with them for the other ones they are planning to keep it in future now the demo that i have is a variation of it that we had implemented for them in which what they were facing was they wanted a basically uh, if you can quickly move to the demo screen yeah so they were facing issues like they wanted to see like if any case is happening we have five questions that we want answers for and we have simply kind of requested those kind of names just a second oh, hold on sometime it happens <laughs> see working of a demo is never real someone <laughs> said it to me once and i kind of believed into it and kind of know it no i am not sure why it's not working but basically what it did was it was utilizing gpt and it was getting five question answers what was the product in which the problem was how long the problem was persisted how, what was the resolution that we gave to them what the customer happy once we resolved it for them and the fifth point how long it took for us to resolve that so be the decor wanted all of these five pointers which we implemented for them but somehow they are not working it's not working right now i'm not sure why no, no problem yeah. yeah so these were the five points that we did so these kind of implementations we did and it actually helped businesses do a lot better in their cycle whether it's sales cycle service cycle all of that